All right, guys. Today we're going to talk about a very simple mod you can do to your PlayStation 2 Fat model. Uh, I'm sure there's another way to mod a slim model, but I'm not really sure how to do that yet. But today I'll walk you through how to do a fat model. You're not going to need very many things, and it is a very simple, inexpensive mod to do. I've got some basic things here. It's just a hard drive adapter for a PS2. At least a 500 gigabyte SSD or larger. A copy of Free McBoot, which you can buy off of Amazon, which is no more than a PS2 card with software insta installed on it. This is optional, but it's handy to have. This is nothing more than an SSD holder that goes alongside this to hold your SSD in place inside the system. Then just an SSD to USB adapter to where you can dump your ROMs from your computer directly to the hard drive via this cable. So I'll get into the steps and show you how to install it all. Once we get it all installed, how to operate your PS2, loading the ROMs from your hard drive, and also the Windows software you're going to need associated with dumping the ROMs to the hard drive. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys. What we're going to do here is first step is we're going to download a program called WinHip. Just do a quick Google search. It's easy enough to find. Create your folder, right click on the application and run it as administrator. For some reason, if you don't run it as the administrator, it will not work correctly. So do that. Okay it here. Now this is a very important part. Make sure when you select the drive you're going to work with to select the proper drive. This is mine down here. As you see, it's almost 500 gigs, or I'm sorry, yeah, 500 gigs. So anyway, select it. You'll get that little warning. OK it. Now go down here to Format Drive. Make sure you have the proper one selected up here or you'll format your, you know, your operating system on your uh, main drive. So don't do that. Anyway, click Format Drive. Your application. I don't know what the deal with this is, but this has to be set on 48-bit if you have anything over 300 or 500 gig drive. So anyway, set that to 48 bit and hit OK. So it's gonna ask you, yes. Can't be reversed, yes. Quick erase of drive two. There, now it's good to go. All right. Now what we have to do is we have to install ROMs to this. So you want a hard drive or a folder created somewhere on your computer where you store your uh, ROMs at. So here I'm going to go to add image, image files. I'm going to add images. I'm going to go to wherever I have them kept at, which I have PS2 backup ISOs right here. I'm going to select them all and I'm going to open. Now, as you can see, it's added them all in here. Now, what you have to do is go over and hit start. When you hit start, it'll start dumping them over to your hard drive. As you can see, it's adding them here. You've got your status screen over here on what it's doing. Now, this could take a while, so I'm just going to fast forward this part, and uh, we'll get back to it at the end. Okay, guys, now we can really focus on the hard drive aspect of it all. This is pretty simple. So we'll just take our SSD adapter here, pull this little plate off. We'll take our SSD, we'll just plug it into the bottom port here. If I can get this stinking thing in here. Just plug it in, take your adapter. Now this adapter is meant for a bigger drive, but it'll serve enough of the purpose to give mine enough support here that I need it to. Pop it in to the housing there, which this one's giving me a little bit of a fit. I don't think the print's all that great on it. But anyway, insert it into your PlayStation. All right. Now just take your screwdriver. 
just secure it into place. Put that side in there a little better. Well, this one's giving me a little bit of a hard time here. Let's try loosening this side back up. Try this again here. There we go. You don't have very much room at all in this thing for them to grab. You got to get each started, each side started a little bit before you can really start to clamp down on it. And don't over tighten them, just snug them up. There you go. Now, here comes the other part of it. There's your hard drive installed. Your games are on the hard drive. The front slot of the PlayStation, this is the free McBoot package I showed you earlier. It's installed on a factory SD card or factory memory card. Just stick it in spot one here, or slot one that is. Now I'll get everything switched over. We can capture what's coming off of this and you can see what the menu system looks like and what the menu system on this SD card looks like. Okay guys, here's probably the coolest part of everything. Once you have the SD card put into the um, SD, uh, SD card slot one or memory card, I keep wanting to call it an SD card, but yeah, in the memory card slot one in the um, PS2, this pops up. This is the free McBoot software I was telling you about. So now you can go down through here and you'll see this option HD loader. So this will pull your games from a hard drive that we just installed all the ROMs onto. So click it. It loads up this screen. So now you have all your games listed here. So you can go through here, select one, um, we'll just do good old God of War. And there you go. You can see there that the game's loading up. Of course, eh, this ROM seems to be some other stinking language. But regardless, you can see it's working. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, this is just the way to do it. Now, what you can actually do with this also is you can take your existing games that are still on disc that you own and you can rip them from the disc to the hard drive. Now, let me get that. Uh, let me get a disc out. We'll load it up. And uh, I honestly don't know how to do that. So we'll kind of go through it together and figure it out. All right, guys. What we're going to do here now is I'm going to show you how to install from disk. Apparently it's simple enough. You just go down to install. I've got the CD installed here in the system. I got R-Type Final. Hit continue. It'll check and see. You can name it, which we'll just do a, I'll just do a quick, uh, you know, R-Final. Just so we can get through this a little quicker. Uh, I hate these things because you forget the stinking alphabet every time you do something. Alright, so anyway. Uh, there it goes. Now as you see, it looks like it's going to take a hot minute. It's ripping it off the disk to the hard drive. And it's going to say like 15 minutes here or so. Um, yeah, I mean, if you've got backup ROMs already on your drive, it would be way quicker just to move them from the previous way I showed. But if you have a bunch of the original game discs and you want to rip them, this is how you can do it. Um, I mean, it's super cool, just in general, all the options that this mod gives you. And you see how stinking simple it is. It's solderless. It's cutless. You don't have to mod your system in any way, cutting, adding stuff to it, whatever. If you don't dig this and you want to just straight up play games, you can also just play games through Free McBoot off your disc, and you don't even have to use any of this stuff. So 
If you don't like free McBoot, you can simply take the SD card out. Of, I called it SD again, but simply take the memory card out of it, and then you've got your standard PlayStation 2 OS. So you really can't go wrong. I mean, free McBoot's like 20 bucks. A hard drive is really up to you, but, you know, let's just call it 100 bucks. But, you know, 100 bucks plus the free McBoot, another 20 bucks couple little odds and ends there you might be in this thing 150 bucks total and i mean you're up and going and you're playing games without the disc so needless to say i think this is a, a pretty easy and a mod anybody can do regardless of your skill level um anyway guys that's about it for this i know it was kind of crude it's the first time i've done one of these kind of uh, videos so hopefully I can improve in the future on them content wise. Um, I don't really have the desk and everything set up to show you the easiest way to do it. I do have a SNES mod coming up soon, a PS1 mod I'm wanting to do, and possibly a GameCube mod as well. And hopefully with those, we can get the uh, format and how I do them, all that kind of streamlined a little better, make it easier for you guys to see exactly what I'm doing. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. If you got any comments or I didn't do anything clear enough in this video telling you how to do something you may want to do, just drop a comment down and I'll uh, try to explain it out a little bit better. Anyway, thanks for checking the vid out. Later. <laughs>